welcome back to another Stinkpot Shack Show exclusive video. Tonight's show is about Clash of Clans and the 40 Bomb. Legend League has been out for about two months now, and uh, slowly but surely I am getting better at it. But before we can praise ourselves about the good things we're doing here in Clash of Clans, we gotta start pretty modest. So let's take a look at our first 40 Bomb on Defense. Check it out. Alright guys, here we go. So if you are unfamiliar with my base, I uh, try to get the anti-3 star with the town hall exposed on the right side. And we can see this is where this queen walk is absolutely going to begin. Gonna uh, take a while to get there, but once you see um, she gets that corner picked off, then here comes the siege machine and the main part of their attack. Multiple pika, multiple bowlers, and uh, Eagle Artillery is firing away. The Town Hall is doing what it can, but it's just too much firepower, too quick. And that Town Hall is gone, and any experienced player knows to use that Grand Warden ability as soon as the Town Hall goes down. So there's the first easy one star. Now here comes my CC out of the gate, and uh, the Ice Golems are going to wreak havoc for my defenses as my CC is now gone, Queen's still alive. The main part of the army still going strong, even though uh, there's still a lot of defenses left, but the big reason why they got 100% is because all the multi-infernos are now gone. Um, Expo's left. All right, freeze video. Here it comes. The most disappointing part about my defense doesn't matter what I change my base design to, this part of their attack always gets me. Don't know how to protect against it because they'll target all your multi inferno, they'll target your wizard tower, and when all the multi stuff is gone, this is what happens. Oh my god, it's the bat spell. Wreaking havoc time and time again. Nothing I can do sit here and watch the remaining life get squeezed out of my base. All the defenses are going down. All the offense is laughing. Oh, that's just great. The party warden is having a party of his life. At full health, this is little vixen healer there, and uh, this party for stink pot is just about over. One hundred percent, forty bomb. All right, guys. So uh, crushing defeat there, but uh, we'll work on our defensive base some other time. But for now, let's get talking about our 40 bomb attacks, the bread and butter of what I wanted to show you here tonight. So uh, as we go through these attacks, just remember they're E-Dragon attacks coupled with uh, balloons. Uh, Rage and Freeze are the primary components of this army. So as we're going through it, I'm going to uh, walk you through my thought process at the time on how each base attack was handled. And... Uh, we will uh, discuss all the strategies involved to help you out there uh, get better at your Legend League Town Hall 12 attacks and achieve your very first uh, 40 bomb. So sit tight, here comes the first attack. All right guys, so here we go. Our first attack is here. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm surveying the land. That's what the first thing you want to do. Uh, pay attention to where their air sweepers are because we are using an E-Dragon attack as well as the air defense. So I'm going to plop down uh, four E-Dragons just to get that outside uh, layer peeled off before the siege and the queen go in. Now this is very important. You do not want the queen to divert to the left or the right. So make sure you have enough uh, clearing out in the initial uh, seconds of your attack to make sure that queen goes right in the middle. And now once that has happened, we're going to unleash the rest of our army, paying careful attention to where you need to rage, where you need to freeze, 
And uh, as always, once that town hall does go down, you want to make sure you pop off that warden ability to save your precious army from going to uh, complete, uh, you know, implosion. So uh, we've cleared out the core now, and now it's a question of do you have enough army to get you through? Do you have enough spells to get you through? And as you can see, this one is cleaning up real nicely. Uh, the main things you guys want to remember is freeze the air defense. And uh, especially if you still have any air sweepers, freeze them so your balloons and e-dragons can get traction. Because I don't know how many times I have been in an e-dragon attack, and I've only had one e-dragon left, no spells, no heroes. And uh, he can never get a, a shot off with his chain lightning because he was constantly being pushed away by that air sweeper so this is going to be our first uh, 40 bomb of the night just waiting on this gold storage to go down and uh, that's how you do it guys for attack number one for attack number two you're going to see the air defense is primarily into the core and there's only one air sweeper facing this direction that's why i chose this side uh you're going to see the air sweeper in the top right in a little bit that's where uh, he's going to bug us from but once again i use four five dragons max to clear out this first uh, level of defense and when the uh, buildings are close together like that, I can get a good chunk of them gone before I have to send in my siege. Now the siege, in this case, really isn't helping us as far as wall breaking goes. It's more of a tank for the Archer Queen. So uh, sometimes you have to use that to your advantage as well. And so now we just have single Infernos and uh, I kind of misplaced my uh, freeze there so I had to drop another one for the air defense and the air sweeper and as the town hall goes down the warden abilities pop and all we have now is the eagle artillery and one more air defense to worry about um, most of my army has shifted to the right so I activate the barb king ability which gets my army going back to the left to take care of that air defense and the eagle artillery and now I got my uh, queen ability left, uh, got plenty of an E-Dragon power, and the warden ability is uh, buffing the health of my queen as well. So uh, that crossbow's being distracted by the E-Dragon, and it's not, the only thing really a threat to the E-Dragon at this point would be a, a black bomb, or balloon bomb. And so you can see none of that's coming out. That E-Dragon takes care of the defenses on the right, and the queen took care of business on the left. Finally, using that ability to help us clean up here in these final seconds of attack number two. Um, as you guys start to do this, you're going to start to see patterns, and that's what we want to recognize. Alright guys, for this third attack, uh, the air sweepers are totally faced in the opposite direction. So air defense is my main threat as we go into uh, this attack here. Um, I really like it because it's separated in two main compartments in like a, a, a horseshoe shape for those two main compartments. So uh, once I bust that second wall with my siege and clear out the side, the army is pretty much guaranteed to go straight toward the core in the uh, town hall area. You see the queen starting to go the wrong way. Um, but uh, she's going to uh, divert in a little bit. We're going to have to pop her ability really early. But the balloons are doing all the tank uh, damage right now. And now the queen... Oh, see, she, a little UI blip there. She started to go back to the core, and now she's back on the side. So uh, just something to be mindful of. Look at that. The queen is still alive, but she's about to go down. Oh, just barely. Oh, so alive. She can do a ton of damage at level 65, and uh, finally she goes down. It looks like the Warden got the best of her, but guys, this is what I'm talking about. You pop that Warden ability, because I would have lost all of my balloons had I not done that. And since the Air Sweepers are all faced in the wrong direction, I just use some uh, timely placed rage. 
but the workhorse of my attack is the freeze spells. We're going to explain in a minute why they're actually more powerful for an E-Dragon attack than a uh, Rage. So we're going to watch this one uh, get cleaned up. we got uh, the Barb King still pecking away, barely alive. The Warden uh, taking care of business. The Warden, um, his major strength is he can usually hit defenses out of range of their uh, defense capability. So when you can get him going in that kind of scenario, it's tough to beat the Warden. So far we have shown you three attacks at pretty much uh, full speed. And uh, we didn't really get a great shot of the overview of the entire base. So now we are going to go into breakdown mode and dissect this last attack for you. So uh, there's some general guidelines that we talked about in the third one, but we're really gonna hunker down on this last attack and uh, talk about what you guys really need to look for uh, whenever you do these uh, 40 uh, bomb attacks. So here we go. We're gonna pause it right here. And right away, I want to take inventory like I said, guys, you guys want to take inventory of uh, what you're about to attack. You don't just want to jump in there and drop all your army as fast as you can because you're afraid you're not going to get the 50% uh, percent mark. That is a huge mistake that beginners uh, use. So with E-Dragons, you know how slow they are. So uh, this attack strategy is definitely going to teach you patience. If you're not patient enough to hold a rage or a freeze or, or deployment troops when you need to, it could be costly. Um, I just, I rarely do zero uh, star attacks, but I did one yesterday and it's because I rushed it and I didn't anticipate uh, what was coming. So, but let's get back to this attack here. So, like I said, the first thing you want to take note of, number one is always the air sweepers when you're doing uh, an air attack so we can see this guy here he is our first uh, air sweeper there and usually uh, it's hard for me to find these but uh, we're going to uh, assume that the other one is probably on the other side of the map somewhere they're rarely right next to each other and uh, yeah here I go I'm blind oh right in front of me so like I said it's opposite the other one and they're kind of facing each other so we zoom out and we can see where they are in relation to the rest of the map next thing is going to be the uh, air defense and they chose to do a completely circular base design on this so uh the shape of the base doesn't really bother me so much because i am air troops but uh it's actually going to work to our advantage even though it's a circular uh, base design, treat it as if it were square and uh, you're going to use the same attack strategy. So let's go ahead and kick this off here and we'll get the base at a, a you know, overview and we're going to see how this uh, attack materializes once we start getting some troops on the ground. Um, let me uh, speed it up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So here's our first set of troops. Pause it right there, guys. Just like we talked about in the other three attacks, use four, no more than five uh, E-Dragons to clear this first line. You can see throughout this base, the third thing you want to look at is where are the storages at? Because it's going to take at least three hits from these E-Dragons to clear out a storage. So you can see you got three clumped right there. You got two clumped right there, two clumped right there. So they've kind of spread out their storages. So uh, the reason why I picked this particular side is obviously because of the air sweepers. I can usually go against one and uh, still survive because I, I'll have a freeze to take care of that one. But you definitely, unless extreme circumstances dictate or you're feeling really confident don't go against uh, two opposing air sweepers so here we go starting with our first line here 
We're mainly wanting to clear out the left and the right so my siege can get in there and go straight because with any circular design, you don't want your troops just wandering off around the edges. So now that we're doing that, we got still three E-Dragons and I'm starting to use these freeze spells to uh, take care of the E-Dragons just a little bit longer to clear out. And now I can see we're entering the core now. I unleashed the rest of my battle. And uh, so right now we have um, only one freeze and one rage spell left. Now obviously we're going to want to save uh, the freeze for that last air sweeper. But we still also have on our attack strategy is all three healer abilities. So uh, we're going to get them up there. We're probably going to rage right around the core. And there's that air sweeper against us. We are anticipating taking down that town hall. So we pop the warden ability early. Put that last freeze on that air sweeper to give our army time to get over there, guys. And now we just have one air defense left. And the rest is pretty much history. Because once you have the circular base design, the problem with... The remaining defense in this case is they're so spread out. You only have uh, one, two, three, four uh, archer towers, one, two, three cannon, which doesn't affect me at all, and then uh, two wizard towers. And that air defense is about to get blown to smithereens. So here we go. We got some skeleton uh, critters up in the air. But, uh, you know, my warden going to uh, take care of them with the E-Dragons. The E-Dragons are kind of stalling, but now they're going away and the Warden's going to finally take out that last air defense. Meanwhile, the Queen is going unopposed at the top, and now they're going to converge together and take care of the remaining defenses. Still got an E-Dragon following that Queen, so she popped her ability. Still have three E-Dragons and no more defenses left. That, guys, is how you take care of this base. I hope you learned a lot um, in today's video where we're talking about Town Hall 10 strategies. Sorry, excuse me. Town Hall 12 attack strategies going into Legend League. Um, if you look at all my attacks, I am definitely not a three-star expert, but... Uh, I do manage to get a 40 bomb here and there, and uh, defense-wise, I'm doing okay. Usually get two-starred, but rarely do I get three-starred on my uh, base defense here. So uh, that's going to do it for us here tonight on the Stinkpot Shack Show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and the next time we do a live stream, come visit us in a live chat. Get to be part of our stinking family. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys.